oil trains. They have the power, if left unchecked, to level a city. In 2013, an oil train derailment killed 47 people in Lac Megantic, Quebec. It leveled a downtown overnight. The same Bakken crude oil passes through backyards in St. Cloud. Local authorities aren't concerned about a derailment, but there is an emergency plan in place. If we had a, an oil train, which we're talking about, and there was a leak, we would start an evacuation process. Some of us on the council over the last several months, maybe maybe the last year and a half, you know, received some inquiries about what are we doing for railroad safety, especially with all the oil coming out of North Dakota. Council member George Hontos played a part in bringing the plan to the city after hearing some concerns from the community. With some sound and the horns and, and then also in case there was an emergency, yes. I mean, we do hear from residents from time to time. An oil train fire would be tremendously hard to put out, so the plan would likely call for the city to contain the blaze. We would actually just let it burn if, if a whole tank car started on fire, and we would just be in protective actions until we could get enough people and resources in St. Cloud. We would be working with transportation coordination to help people move that area, um, so it would be a fairly complex um, incident for us and would definitely bring together a lot of people in the community. The immediate goal would be to notify residents nearby and get them out as quickly as possible. Fire Chief Dean Robel says they would start at a quarter mile radius and expand from there. For oil trains, there's a not, not a lot with uh, fumes of it, but the smoke would be the big thing. So we'd want to look at which way the smoke was blowing and we'd evacuate further at that point. Local officials say they have little concern of a derailment and BNSF Rail says 99.99% of their trains reach their destination safely. But derailments have happened recently in our area. Back in 2011, 18 coal train cars derailed in Brainerd. There have also been recent derailments in Elk River and Painesville. Oil production has declined recently, but still about 55 oil trains pass through Minnesota every week. So what can St. Cloud learn about oil train derailments? To find an answer firsthand, I traveled to Castleton, North Dakota, where an oil train derailed back at the end of 2013, creating large fireballs and an evacuation of the town. In very short order, we realized this was very, very serious. And when I left home, I could see just black, the heaviest black smoke that you'd ever want to see. I mean, it, it was incredible. I didn't even uh, fathom the magnitude of this being crude oil. And one of the train cars exploded. So you get this great big mushroom uh, cloud of, of flame going up pretty high. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, we walked back a little further and another one did it. You could feel it. It would appear at like the height of the clouds, you know, from, from standing here, so. So you couldn't miss it? No, nope, you couldn't miss it. It was bright orange. Castleton is a town of just over 2,000 people, just a little bit west of Fargo, and they dodged a bullet when 18 oil cars exploded just about a half mile outside of town. Despite the large fireballs and an evacuation, nobody was killed. It would have been uh, a tremendous tragedy if that thing would have been another half a mile. We've always lived with a train, and uh, there's always that uh, possibility of a train having an accident of some kind. It would have totally destroyed everything within a probably a block, two block radius. They say being prepared and unfortunately a lot of luck outside of their control is what kept the incident from resulting in any deaths. Other than the fact that the fire department knew what they were doing and had enough sense to stay away from it and then basically let it burn and try and contain it, um, you, gotta, you gotta hope you're lucky. The railroad is a mechanical thing and mechanical things break down and uh, you know, they break wheels, and that can happen in St. Cloud as well as it happens happened here. Unfortunately, a recent Minnesota Department of Public Safety report says that most counties and cities say that they lack equipment to respond if there was an oil train incident. However, St. Cloud feels that they're ready if the need arises. You can never stop it from happening, but we it's a how you respond. And, and knowing that our 
fire department has the skill and the training of how to handle uh, an emergency like that is it what made all of us on the council a lot more comfortable to know that, uh, that we had that protection. If we have to make that call to ask you to leave your home, that you're prepared to do so. So regardless if that's a train derailment or something else that might be happening in the community, that you've taken those steps to put yourself and your family into a preparedness strategy so that you can safely evacuate and be gone from your home. Reporting from St. Cloud and Castleton, North Dakota, Dan DeBond, WJON.